Alright, so uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to install mods once again, but this is not using MC Patcher. This was going to be using mod Magic Launcher. Sorry, um, it's going to use a little launcher called Magic Launcher, and it is a very nice alternative to the ma uh, MC Patcher. Uh, because it doesn't alter your minecraft.jar file whatsoever, it dynamically loads them. So, if you ever choose to stop using a mod, you don't have to go and, like, uninstall things. You just, you basically just turn it off. I'll show you that in a minute there. But, um, yeah, so, right now I'm just going to go over the tabs that it has here. Well, you've got your Minecraft news, your regular old Minecraft news got the reddit for minecraft and just click on these to see the little posts you've got uh, notch's twitter and jeb's twitter uh, you've got the world of notch tumblr page you've got the minecraft forum page i believe is what it is yes the minecraft forums and then you've got the minecraft wiki over here so now that we've got that done i'm going to show you the options page and this is basically showing you what's well the options for the launcher you can see the launchers ver current version that you're using and the latest version available if you don't have uh, the latest version for example 0.9.7 you can push the get latest button it'll bring you to the minecraft forums web page where this is posted you got your version for your minecraft you got the location of your minecraft folder and then you've got language which as far as i can tell is just english but you know, I have no idea if that applies to only where, or just the version, I, I don't know. It could just be me, it could be other people, but I, it, I don't know. And you've got the news, which honestly, I don't know what it does. It might disable Minecraft news and the other news tabs, but I don't know. Sorry about that, but I just don't know. You've got a downgrade button that doesn't work. Um, it might work soon in the next few versions or something. I don't know, he doesn't say, really. Unless he's updated the page. Hmm. Anyway, it doesn't work as of yet, but it could. You got your snapshots when, when pushed, it brings to the Minecraft wiki for snapshots. You got a force update button that, once again, could possibly be implemented soon. You got a browse for the different location, and then you, I already showed you that. Then you got a show log button, which well, it shows the log of your launcher, so you know the code and how to, I don't know, I don't even think it can be, anyway, uh, go into setup to actually, in, in, I say install, but just add your mods really, uh, you can change configurations, it ends up with default which has nothing in it, um, I just have this as my default, I don't even know why I have these in there, but as you can see there's this nifty little option for turning them on and off, so, so you turn them on and off, and you notice the status, it says okay, well, there's not only OK, as you can tell if I were to turn on Minecraft Forge, there's an errors, uh, an errors status, which is totally fine if as long as it's a low number, because the low numbers usually mean, I'm not sure what they mean, but I mean, I know it's still safe to do, because I've been doing it for a very long time, and the errors are basically telling you that some, of the, some part of the mods are going to be overwritten, which is what is going to happen anyway if you were to manually install these or even do them through MC Padger. So I can show you this no mod loader. It can also do no mod loader MP and no forge. I don't know if there's anything else in, in the way of status. You've got this external thing which shows you, actually, I can show you right now. Manage, it shows you the mods folder within your Minecraft folder. So that's pretty handy. Um, it's the external mods within your mod folder, within your Minecraft folder. I never use it. It's, it could be needed, but I don't use it ever. So, up here in configuration, you've got this new button. You can type in whatever you want conf for configuration. You can make it a blank one, which is what I usually do. You can copy it from your default, or you can copy it from any custom configuration that you've already made. I'm going to cancel. And to do this, uh, and then there's, I mean, there's also a delete button. And you can't actually delete your default configuration. But if I go over here, hit the delete button, it'll give me the option delete configuration. I don't want to do that. You can hit yes if you really want to. But anyway, it'll show you your Minecraft jar version. And it'll also say if it's been modified in any way, 
by putting 1.2.5 or whatever version you have, and then in parentheses it'll say modified right there. And it might not even be compatible anymore. It should say right in this bar whether or not it's even possible to use through Magic Launcher. If it's not, it's pretty simple. Just do a force update of Minecraft and that'll be set. Um, you're going to have to use the default Minecraft launcher or any other mon launcher that can do force update because you saw that this doesn't have force update. <coughs> anyway, if you want to add some mods, you can hit this download button over here. I'm going to bring to the Minecraft forums mod page to for you to download some mods that you would like. There's also this add button. Now this won't actually start you where I am, nor will it start you in your home page. It'll start you in your Minecraft folders mod folder. Um, there's an easy way out. Just hit this little home, and it'll bring you to your little home. And then navigate to wherever you keep your mods. Just go... Oh my god. Okay. So, just go wherever you keep your mods, and here we go. So we've got all of these mods that I can use uh, install. Let's just really quickly do that. As you can see, no mod loader. It'll also say duplicate mod if I do that, and then add the mod loader. See, duplicate mod, I forgot about that one. So, that's something to look out for. Anyway, that's how you add them. You can also remove them by highlighting them blue and hitting the remove button. It'll just take them off the list. You can move them up, you can move them down. Some will need different some will need to be above others. I don't know. You can mess with that whenever you find it if it works. Uh, there's a test button lets you test run Minecraft very much like an MC Patcher. There's hit OK to save your configuration. Hit cancel if you don't want to save your configuration. There's another do log button. And then there's this advanced thing. Um, I really don't mess with this whatsoever, really. Um, this, I don't think it'll stay. It'd be the same number. I think it'll be like. 1024 megabytes which is equivalent to 1 gigabyte I've um you can set this um I'll give you a list of the different uh megabyte to gigabyte sizes if you want what I've done here is I've given it um two and a half gigs of ram so it actually runs much smoother the java the parameters and the base folders I have no idea what they do at all so if you if you want to know what those do, you're going to have to look somewhere else, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, that's basically it for the Magic Launcher overview and tutorial t for how to install mods. I don't know, kind of both, but anyway, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.